Hello. Welcome to EasyVB. Tutorial 9. In this tutorial we will continue from Tutorial 8 and learn more about the visual basic coordinates and positioning of controls. We will also introduce the text box control object. First watch Tutorial 8, if you have not already, or watch it again as a reminder. Ok. Let's look at the code again from Tutorial 8. If we look first at the section of code that concerns dragging the picture box, and this is coming from way back in Tutorial 1, we can see that we can specify the location of the picture box, PB blue by stating, PB blue dot left, for the X coordinate, and PB blue dot top, for the Y coordinate. Top left is the position point all controls are referenced to, so Visual Basic has this shorthand code to specify the location with top and with left. We can also describe the position using location, but location requires a point with both coordinates specified. We can write the drag position code using PB blue location equals new point, like this. Let's run the application and drag the picture box around. We can see the alternative longhand code works just fine, but, for quick code writing we should not forget the shorthand code method of referring top and left. Ok, that was somewhat a side topic, but now let's get to the main subjects of this tutorial. Add 4 more buttons to the form. Position them in a row along the bottom of the form. Change the button for name to btn up, and its text to up. Change the button 5 name to btn down, and its text to down. Change the button 6 name to btn left, and its text to left. Change the button 7 name to btn right, and its text to right. Now select all four of the new buttons, go to the properties menu, and change the font to a larger bold size. Check the appearance on the form. Again select all four of the new buttons, go to the events menu, and select the click event. Double click it to create a click event sub for the new buttons. Rename the event sub as, up down left right. Note that we could have added these buttons into the existing click event for buttons, 1, 2, and 3, but we will go with a separate click event for clear visibility and segregation in the code. You have probably guessed already what we aim to do with the four new buttons, so now we will write the code to see how it will be done. First, in accordance with good practice we will write a comment at the start of the code to remind us what this section of code will do. Now write. If sender is btn up then pb blue dot location equals new point, open bracket, pb blue dot location dot x, comma, pb blue dot location dot y, close bracket. Copy and paste this line of code three times. Change btn up to btn down, left, and right.
for the BTN up coordinates extend the expression for the Y coordinate by adding, minus 10. Similarly for BTN down add, plus 10. For the BTN left coordinates extend the expression for the X coordinate by adding, minus 10. Similarly for BTN right add, plus 10. OK, so what is this code going to do now when we run it and click the new buttons? Well, if we coded it correctly, when we click the buttons the blue picture box should move 10 pixels up, down, left, or right, corresponding to the button clicked. Run the application. Yes, we can see it works fine and as expected. Close the application and we will now introduce the text box control object. Go to the toolbox menu and scroll down to locate the text box control. Click on text box and add text box 1 to the form. Copy and paste the text box to create text box 2. Note that text box 1 and text box 2 are the default system names that Visual Basic automatically assigns. Click on text box 1, go to the properties menu and change its name to TBX. Similarly change the name of text box 2 to TBY. Go to the form and select both text boxes. Go to the properties menu and select font. Change the size to 14 and change bold to true. OK. Now go to the click event sub up down left right. Write the following line of code. tbx.txt equals, inverted comma, x equals, close inverted comma, and, pbblue.location x. Copy and paste this line and edit it for tby. Run the application. Now we can see when we click buttons up, down, left, or right, then the coordinate position of the picture box is written in the text boxes, and each time the position changes the stated coordinates are updated. We will learn more about text boxes and their properties in later tutorials, but this example provides an introduction for them. Let's look again at the code for the text boxes. What is written in the text box at runtime consists of two parts. The constant unchanging part is the string in inverted commas, that is, x equals or y equals. Then there is a second part which is variable data, the x coordinate and the y coordinate of the picture box. In the code we combine these two elements by using the and symbol. In this case the text we write only has two elements but we can join as many strings and pieces of data as we want by using more AND statements. Let's try that by writing both the X and Y coordinates into one text box. Knock out TBY to comment. Go to the form and delete TBY. Reposition TBX and make it longer. For the TBX code add a comma and the statement from TBY. Run the application. We can see that the single text box now writes both the X and Y coordinates. OK. In the tutorial 9, we have learned more about the visual basic coordinate and how to code locations. We have also made an introduction of the text box control object and how to use it. In the next tutorial we will provide an introduction to subroutines using Tutorial 9 as the basis. 
Thanks for watching. We hope this tutorial was useful. If it helped you, please like, share, and subscribe.